last few slides of this section, we're going to just take a quick peek at some other alternatives to um, things like WAN connections, like um, like VPNs and GRE tunnels. So. Uh, Really, when we think of a virtual private network, we have to remember that the benefit to this is we do get encryption and encapsulation, right? It gives us the ability to allow, whether it's a site-to-site -site VPN between, you know, a branch router and main site, or whether it's um, end users, we want to allow that communication to occur securely or privately. Right. So some of the advantage, of, co of course, lower costs. If you're already paying for an outside interface, uh, an internet connection to a service provider, why have a separate, you know, dedicated WAN interface when you can leverage your, you know, Metro E connection for something like a, a, a VPN? Um, scalability, right? We can put up, you know, very easily uh, you know, a hundred or fifty site-to-site -site VPNs, depending on the on the hardware, right? We're going to see that we might have some more scalability as far as the number of site-to-site -site VPNs we can support, based on you know what type of device it is. If we have you know one of the higher-end ASAs, um, they might have you know a different number of limitations as far as site-to-site -site VPNs versus some of our our lower-end um, devices. Um, some other advantages, we get that broadband speed. We get, you know, 500 megs or a couple gig speed versus, you know, those much slower speeds. And then of course, yeah, security. All right, so usually what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up some kind of logical tunnel that we send our traffic from one side to another and as it goes over that tunnel, um, you know, it's gonna be encrypted and it will be decrypted when it gets